When we talk about family, every one of us has a family. We are not talking about marriages, we are talking about family. Look at your neighbor, tell the neighbor you belong to a family. And one of the good things about family, you never applied for, you found yourself because there are people who decided, not you. Oh, tell your neighbor, you never decided, but you found yourself in that family. Another thing that you need to know also is that some families are large, others are small. So it doesn't matter whether you are two or three in your family, you are a family. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I pray that even when, uh, you know, family. Dio, na hiyo family huku andika application ya kuzaliwa. Ti umwambie tu, umwambie huku andika application. We ulizaliwa ukadikuta kwa hiyo family. Amen. I say, sio ni maajabu ya Mungu. So wacha tamaa. Ati kuna wengine unaona wanakuraga sausage mchana. Wewe hiyo ndio family yako na huku apply, wengine ndio walikuzaa huko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sawa sawa. Familia zingine ni kubwa. Hey. Ati unasikia kuna mama alipata watoto moja, mbili, tatu, kuminatiza. Mama moja. Kama mama yako alipata wengi, bless your heart. Family yako ni kubwa. Lakini kuna wengine. Walitaka watoto wengi. Lakini walipopata kamoja, utotu wengine tuoto tukapotelea kwa migu. Hawaku pata mwingine, wameomba, wameomba, baka wakafikisha umri, wakapata kamoja. Unasikia ga hiyo story? Hati hii family ni yako. Kamoja tu kulikuwa na familia moja hiyo inaweza ni pereka side kidogo. Uh, huyo uh, again niko na mtu mwingine wa kutoka Florida. Ay, de, leo niko hey mchanganyiko maalum. I'm saying there are some families that have only one child. Others have 19. And, uh, and others had one but they wanted more. But the other pole pole. Ikwenda inaendaga mara moja chu. Lakini kurudi inaenda pole pole. Hey. So families are like that. Big families, small families, but you are a family still. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And because you are in a family, then you should also know this which is so critical for us. Every family has battles they fight. Ah. Yani kila familia kuna vita zao. The families that you fight are not mine. Actually, your battles are different. Vita zenu ni tofauti. Kuna wengine vita zao ni za ulevi. Kwao. Kwa hivyo hiyo vita ya ulevi na kwenu hakuna. Wacha kwenda kufukuza pepo za ulevi kwenu na hakuna. Don't start fighting battles that are not yours. Because families have different battles. Some of us, we fight witchcraft. Real witchcraft. Wengine vita vietu ni vya uchawi. Na ni uchawi. One time I'm called very quickly by some of the members when I started work here at a, at a place near where the petrol station is, behind the petrol station, before Shell became... And as I prayed, I was shown a few things. Pigieni daktari makofi. Pigieni makofi. Amekuja kuniokoa. Yes, I've come to hey, bless the name of the Lord. So I'm, I'm saved now. I'm, I'm a little bit better. So I was saying. I was called Niliitwa. by a member Na moja. because there was a rat tail Kwa na mkia wa and a skin of a snake Na ngozi ya nyoka. and some hair Na nyele at the doorstep. Pastor, come. 
Witchcraft is all over. Because where he came from, he believed in them. So I went and to pray. And he warned me. You need some oil from pigs or swines. Gurue. Ujipake mukono. So that you apply on your hands. And I told them after prayer which is stronger? Mafuta ya ngurue or the blood of Jesus? Oil from the pigs or I took them and burned them. It's almost 36 years since. Those were his battles. They were not my battles. Then that was not enough. Same year. I'm getting to my house. Nowadays I try to look where my house is. Tunainuka tunasema let God rise his enemies be scattered. I'm getting to my house. I go to my house and then I meet two glasses. One on the left the other one on the right. Those days Zimmerman I think there was some witch, 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 witch doctors and witches who were going around. Maybe they wanted to witch me. So, I packed my car and then came back. I saw the glasses. I lifted them up. And then I shouted. Is the glass in his anani? Mara ya kwanza. Whose glasses are these? Is the glass in his anani? Mara ya pili. Second time. Mara ya tatu ni kazipigisha lami ya kamiti. The third time, I just Knock them down on their road. Nika ndani na nikalala. Hata sasa, ninalalaga tu. And I slept and even... Some of the battles that you are fighting actually are not yours. Vita vingina unapiga na sivu. Are not for your family. Nzingina ni za familia. You need to identify battles that are of your family. Unaitaji kujua ni vita vya gani za familia yako. So that you look at your generation. So that when you are telling God from me it is over. Paul tells Timothy. You know what Paul Timothy? I have fought the good fight. I have run my race. And there are waits for me the crown of life. And it is only the crown of life Paul says. Not to me only. But for the fight. It was personal. For the race. It was personal. You have a family. There is a battle in your family. You have to fight. Oh, tell your neighbor you have to fight. I know you love the Lord, you want to be quiet, but you have to fight. I know you don't want people to say anything about you, but you have to fight. I know you don't want to scream, but you have to fight. And some battles you don't have to scream anyway. One man in this church after we were taught by Ben Mwima to pray those that can remember Ben Mwima taught us how to pray and then a sister went home one of the sisters and her husband met her nearly and said Omothi today you will know who is the Lord here is that the Lord that Kimani preaches there or I am the Lord 
ndio bwana and he was ready to slap her na alikuwa tayari kumpiga kofi he was taken to hospital alipelekwa hospitalini because hapa ililetea shida hapa daktari hapa hapa alipata shida pale kwa bega because the lady was fighting a battle for her family kwa sababu yule dada alikuwa anapigania vita there are some of the battles you are going to fight kuna vita vingine utapigana and as you fight them somebody will try to fight you physically may the lord come to you strongly may the lord give you victory i say so i don't know the battles that you fight mine are mine tell your neighbor mine are mine actually mine are so mine that so mine and yours are so yours they are only yours have you looked at children of your neighbor and you thought they behave better than yours you even want them to be yours fight your own battles I used to visit I used to visit a neighbor of ours. In the 60s I was a small boy. He was from Sabatia. So he used to say If he prepared the fish. Kama umetayarisha samaki? Yeah yeah. Angetayarisha samaki. Kama ningetayarisha samaki. If I prepare tu kipande kidogo tu and you're given just a small piece na ujaziwe ugali and then you're given ugali utararua ugali you will eat the ugali na mboga bado itakuwa tu bado inakoja ugali ingine and the, the, the stew will still be waiting for more ugali i even thought why can't he adapt me nikauliza ni kwa nini asi niite mimi nikue wa wa family and i know you are laughing those could be some of the things najua unacheka lakini pengine maybe you visited another family my sister and you saw that for them that girl friend of yours has her own bed na ukaona yule danda ako na kitanda chake peke binafsi na kwenu mnalala kama sausage na wengine wameangalia huku na wengine huku in your home you sleep like sausages some facing this side the others facing the other side actually yesterday i was remembering jana nilikuwa nakumbuka where <laughs> and parents were very good wazazi walikuwa wazuri sana siku kama nyimu na kitanda hata watoto wa jirani wanaletwa mlalala kitanda moja mkiwa watu inne if you, that, you had a bed even parents kama mwe wasichana na vijana mnawekwa huko watoto wote vijana wasichana they would all be put in one bed sasa shida ni kwa sababu kuna wengine walikuwa wanafanya showering usiku uh, the problem is that uh, some of them would urinate in the bed at night and then you want to belong there because you saw a bed you don't know the battles they fight wait until you see it because every family has a battle i thank god for my battles and i'm going to fight my battles if it is for my family i will fight them so the first point if you are writing something say identify your battles and in your battles know when they appear because some battles have a tendency of appearing in some seasons kama ni ulevi christmas kama ni ulevi easter so you need to, you need to identify when are these battles can i surprise you also there are some battles that come every end of the month kuna vita vinakujanga kila mwisho wa mwezi you know in the 60s there was a twist that we used to dance around not me it is them wala walikuwa wana dance but i was there Lakini when they are singing it huko, and the song used to go like this mwisho wa mwezi hakuna mulevi usikia ja <laughs> so if you identify kama unatambua when your battles arise 
the season they arise then every time before that season you will prepare and arm yourself so that you can fight the battles that are yours blessed be the name of the lord there are battles that we fight and there are many and they are from different corners. They come from different corners. And because that is your family, I identify how you are going to fight them. There are schemes of the devil. But we need to arise so that we can overcome them. In the book of Ephesians chapter number 6, by the way, just speaking it a little bit, um, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, what is it? Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 10. Can you put it on? Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. If you want to fight for your family, the first place for you to, to be is a place where you can be strong. Not in your own power, but in the power of the Lord. And his might. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong. And so the question that I need to ask myself, how can I be strong? How can I be strong? How do I strengthen myself? I will strengthen myself in the Lord. I will strengthen myself in the Lord. I will seek God. I will seek his ways. I will seek his counsel. Hallelujah. Do you know, some, some of us, when we have a problem, unfortunately, unfortunately, we look for people who are suffering like us. So a brother goes to a sister who is having a problem in marriage. By the time they conclude, they say, can we meet again and encourage one another? By the end of the year, can we stay together? Bishop, can you wear us? Bishop understand. He has problems like mine. Actually, the way he was treated is the way I was treated. I'm telling you, you are joking with the fire. Because the battles they were fighting are not the same battle. I have a friend of mine who has been married now four times. He marries those that have problems. And before long, they also divorce because they cannot go. Because the battles. Just greet your neighbor. Even the way I feel your hand. Your battles are on my are different. Yes, you are right. It's a different I will be strong where? In the Lord. Actually, if you want to say you want to, one time I wanted to enroll myself to do a PhD. And I still will do it. Thank you, Professor. Because I belonged to a cell and Virginia and myself and others were only masters and masters was not working very well because there were so many doctors so we were all trying to enroll ourselves 
na sisi wengine ndio tulikuwa na uzamili if you are in a group like that kama uko kikundi kama hiki who do you go to if you want to do phd do you go to virginia or do you go to professor utaenda kwa nani kama unataka uzamifu chaanda uzamifu utaenda kwa yule ako na uzamili ama yule ako na uzamifu let me tell you Virginia will tell me how difficult it is but she has not enrolled. But professor will tell me how easy it is because she has gone through it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to fight battles and I know somebody else who has won it. I will strike wa kuingilia mtambo So I said your battles are not mine actually you are so unique Vita vyako si zangu na wewe ni mtu kibinafsi sana Kuna mtu alijiua There is somebody who committed suicide Kwa sababu ana yake alimuita malaya uh, because the husband called her a prostitute Kaenda kajinyonga She went uh, and did commit suicide Kuna mwingine akiitwa malaya anasema hii haa Mimi watu wengi wakiniangalia wanaona niko. Kwa hivyo yeye anaendelea. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I'm not saying it is good to be malaya. I'm just saying. I'm not saying it's good to be a prostitute. There is somebody who can be called a jinga ya mwisho and you become jinga ya mwisho. Others unaitwa jinga unaenda shule. Some will be called a fool and then you go So even fight. how we fight the battles is different. May God give you ways of fighting your battles. I say Si Beatrice si ni vizuri kumaliza. So we are asking ourselves what is my fight what are my battles and you know that's why we said if you even you guys that are 14 15 you have battles 16 17 18 you have battles battles for your family i know somebody would have said bishop this is for couples this is not for couples we are not talking about marriages tunaongea habari ya familia nirudie tena Hakuna mtu wako hapa ambaye hana familia. There is nobody who is here without a family. So it's not about marriages, it's about Niko na yangu. Uh, Vita za kwangu. Uh, my battles. Ni kali. They are ni Mungu tu ananisaidia. It's only God who helps me. Tukiwa na Alice. Ni kali. Tukiwa na Nyambura. They are very na Waitherero. Na ke, na Mogai na Victor. Ni kali. Na familia yake. Ni neema tu. Is only the grace of the Lord. So the question that you can ask is munaishi gije? How do you live? Kwa msalaba tu. It's only by the cross. Mote ine mote. Dore ngosa gangai. Ginyangorwe kahuroka. How? 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 That's the best place for you to go. Are there tempers in my house? They are. Those are my battles. Those are her battles. So we ask the Lord, when do those battles happen? Can I tell you when they happen to Alice? Now me to Alice is when I am tired. And she wants us to talk policy issues. And my machine has hanged. She might say I wonder. Me? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. My battles are not like your battles. Now when when does she get worked up? Na yeye anakasirika wakati gani? Is when as a man. Ni wakati mimi kama mwanamke. I hear quickly. 
and conclude quickly when she has only done the first round of the talk because she will repeat the same story a couple of times where do I go? my battles oh I thank God my battles are not your battles. I'm fighting for my family. You better fight for yours. But start by being strong. Because Beatrice and I, normally we don't say how many points we are bringing so that when it says finish, stop, we stop. Eh? Uh -huh. So that, that's, that's why I was saying. Battles that are mine, the battles are for my family. What is the situation I find myself the first point is to stand firm on the promises of God. Even fighting for the battles with my children. They are not doing well in school. I will stand on the promise of God that my children will be great in the land. And I will go at night, lay my hands on their head, and speak. I will stand firm on the promises of God. You're fighting for your family. Stand firm on the promises of God. You are my daughter, and you know there are some chaos and problems and challenges. Please stand firm on the promises of God concerning your family. Refuse divorce and separation. Refuse quarrels and fightings. You go on your knees and be firm. Don't pray once. Don't pray twice. Keep on praying and agonizing. Push until there is a solution. I'm fighting for my family. I will stand strong. As soldiers of the Lord Jesus, our posters need never to be one of retreat. We know that when we stand firm, we can clothe ourselves with the whole armor of God so that we can have faith for our family. We can walk peace in our family. We can defend our family. We can build our family properly. That everything holds together. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But often the problem is when we are under attack we forget to ask the Lord to come and give us deliverance. And you know some of these battles actually they come onto our mind. And when they come to our mind we do conclusion very very quickly. <coughs> Going a little bit out of the, my text this week I was struggling with the preparation of some someone that I wanted to prepare for somewhere. And one of these days, if I get chance, I will. And it was on the area of listening. When we went out to visit the U.S., one time the four of us, the Mughals and ourselves, 
As we talked that day, the Lord kept on telling us about listening. 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 Because sometimes you are talking with someone, but before they finish, you have an answer. How did you get the answer? I have not even finished. Some of us, even before you finish, you have just started a sentence. They have a solution. If you want to help your family, listen and listen good. I think you better ask, did I hear it right? Is this what you are saying? Do you mean this? Because sometimes we say things and we don't mean them. So our listening will be key. Listening to my spirit. Listening to my heart. Listening to my family. So that as I fight the battles that I'm fighting. I will fight a good fight. There are some people who have come to see me. In the office. And they have a big, big problem. When they are coming. They have a problem. So huge. So they sit. And these are the people that you cannot interrupt. When the radio is on. Until the batteries go down. Now the advantage of those people that talk a lot they talk, they answer, they reply, they answer, they talk, they, de they defend, they fight, they talk and finally they ask you actually they tell you bishop I'm okay. <laughs> so there are some battles you don't need to fight, you need just to listen. That person who will talk will talk and then finally say, I think I'm also having the answer, isn't it, Bishop? Uh, yeah, you, you have, have it. it. Because they, people who are dangerous are people who don't talk because they are asking, Dr. Some Huyo mzazi ukimpeleka kwa daktari wanapea kwa dawa ingine ya kumaliza gas. They usually given that drug for Lakini vile amemwambia daktari ukisikiza utafikiria mama yako atalalishwa kwa ward. Uh, but the way they talk to the doctor you think that they are going to be hospitalized. Listen. Skilisa. Listening is important. Kusikiliza ni kitu cha maana. So the point that I'm bringing out here is that if you are going to fight for your family be firm with the things that God has revealed to you. A godly, a godly family. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Number two, we fight by walking in faith. When our families have challenges because of patterns that have formed because of habits that have persisted. Because of dysfunctions that have normalized. You almost think it is the normal thing. There is a temptation to walk by sight. There is a temptation to believe it will always be like that. And that path weakens our resolve. And it renders us vulnerable to discouragement. But I'm saying I'm not going to wait until I'm going to walk in faith and by faith. I'll speak faith in whatever situation I find myself. Because that temptation of walking by sight, to believe it will always be so. Actually, there are some who believe. Kama ni mwanaume lazima behave hivyo. 
Naamini ya kwamba kama uh, if it's a man they must behave like Oh oh. Kama ni mama lazima behave hivyo. It's a woman she has to behave like this. Kama ni teenager lazima teenager mko area hata si tulikuwa matini I say. Kama ni mabaleni lazima awakue. Kwa hivyo it is not a it is not a qualification to be behaving. Si lazima ambalehe um, aweke kuwa na tabia baya. I was telling someone yesterday. Kwa naambia mtu jana when when we were growing wakati tulikuwa tunakuwa Washo and her group dada Washo na group yake to retain them in school kuwaweka katika shule you did not need to have disco au akuwa engineer kana javi ine or naivasha town itself because these girls will jump the fence kwa sababu walikuwa na ruka ua carnival Anybody knows about Canvo? Yes. Canvo. Kenya high girls and whatever they run to Canvo. So to retain them. But the devil has known that. So what has he done? He has brought disco into the church. Teremuka teremuka panda panda katika 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 Cheza 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 cheza. Eh? I mean Wanjiro, season hizo story ukiwa Kiambu. Season hizo story. Unajua hawa matini wanafikiria tumekuwa tu saved always Ruth. Si tulikuwa ko tu. We were there. We were also there. We were there. Now they don't go there. Now we need to be careful. There is a battle that has been brought in the house of God. Kuna vita vimeletwa katika nyumba. And as we fight for our families church is one of them so that the altar will not be tampered kwani bishop anasema ni nasema hivi carnivals haikuagi siku hizi iko church walijaribu kuimba zikashindikana sisi ndio tunangoma So fundi wa mbao tuna ngoma sisi Carnival imeletwa kanisani So we need to kick the evils of disco and cannibalism from our pulpit and our altar Tunastahili kusukuma unajisi wa disco na mambo ya kidunia kutoka madhabahu yetu You know somebody can do all the religious things and never be born again i am speaking to someone here let us arise and know the battles that we need to fight with even here ili twende binguni salimia jirani yako salimia jirani yako tena mwambie vita zako na zako ni tofauti lakini kuna moja lazima sote tungangane nayo We are going to walk by faith and fight those battle by faith. Because faith lifts us. And it puts our gaze up to the heavenly. So that we don't gaze the earth we go up to where the Lord is. Faith gives us fight. It reminds us that our own reality was once without hope. So we speak hope into our family. Because we say yes by the grace of God we were saved. And we were raised to a new life. Me and my family Joshua says. I will serve the Lord. There is a battle for you. And there is a battle for me. Praise the name of the Lord. Wow. I like what what I'm doing over here. I only pray that it is helping someone. Remember what I said your battles are not mine. But once I know them I know on whom I'm standing on. I can make a demarcation line. Say ulevi in my family. It ends with me. I will not push it further. 
Me and my family. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How do I fight for my family? I will pray. I will pray. I will pray. You know, when I was preparing this, I thought about how difficult it is sometimes to have time to pray. So you have to make sure you pray. Take time to pray. Just pray. Pray for your children every day. Pray for the people that you know every day. Pray for the church every day. Pray for your family every day. Mention. Identify the people in your family that needs the Lord to save them. Pray. 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 Pray for your family. And young people that have come, I have prayed for some children here. And a child is telling you, pray for my father and mother. And then you ask the little boy why. They are fighting even last night they fought. All what that child is saying. Join me to pray for my family. It doesn't matter how small, how young you are. You can declare some warfare for your family. And one day, your father might say, I am where I am today because she or he prayed for me. Greet your neighbor again. Neighbor, I know you can pray. So fight by praying. Pray for your family. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Hallelujah. Now I think I'm done. Because it is good to finish. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Go and fight for your family. Stand. Walk by faith. Pray. Yes, pray. So the best thing is then to pray for you. So that you can do those things. When I say stand, you don't become stubborn. You know there are some you can go and become stubborn. There's somebody who can be stubborn. But I'm saying I'm going to be wise as a serpent. Harmless as a dove. I'm going to stand firm. Father, father, father. Father, father. May that be the last one. By the way, hata ikiletwa mara ya pili, usiseme kwani Mungu ulienda wapi nana? Toka tena nje, sunguruka mara kadhaa. Siku moja atakuuliza unazunguka ukienda wapi? Utamwambia nazunguka nyumba kwa sababu kuna nuka pombe ndani. Uwezi kukunywa nje. One time you, they will ask they will ask you why are you going around? They you tell them it's because there's a smell of beer. Why can't you take it outside? Pray. Omba. Pray. Wale ambao hamtumangwe kuingia kwa bed kwa mfuko ya mzee. Akija na koti atumage mtu. Siku atakutuma. Ukiingiza mkono pale pesa amekwambia utoe 50. Uh, Usitoe zaidi, toa 50. Lakini yomba. Mungu. Huyu jamaa amekuwa ngamu watoto wana shida na hapa kuna elfu kadhaa. Naomba. Siku nyingine atanituma niambie nitoe ngiri. I mean, be wise, but pray. Stand firm in faith. Stand firm in prayer. I don't know the battles that you are fighting, but I can I tell you the truth? Can I tell you the truth? 
everyone seated here without exception there is a battle you are fighting for your family. Hiyo tu. Hiyo tu. Kuna tu ukisema kwetu. Kwetu. Mimi kwetu. Baba ameokoka, mama ameokoka, ndugu ameokoka, wote wameokoka, hata shosho ameokoka. Sisi hakukua kivita, hiyo ni urongo yako. You are not admitting. There are little other battles that you are fighting. But let me also tell you this. There is no little battle or big battle. Because even that small one can wreck the family. So as we fight for it, we put on the whole armor so that we can resist the devil. Hiyo inamaanisha then? What does that say? Kila mmoja asimame. Everybody should stand. Because everybody has got a battle they are fighting. Some of us would want to sit down, who would maybe sit down and because they think there are no battles in their home. Hallelujah. You're standing now. Now ask your neighbor, are you standing or you are still seated in the heart? But the body because Bishop has said. Oh, you are standing. You are standing. Let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Oh, let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. We'll sing it one more time. I want you to hold the hand of your neighbor. Please pray for them. Shika mkono wa jirani yako na umuombe. Umuombe. Pray for them. Uombe mmoja wa kushoto mwingine wa kulia. Uombe one maombi. On right, one on the left. Uombe pray. maombi ya kiundudho. Pray pray pray. Maombi ya imani. A prayer of faith. Unajua maombi ya imani ni kwamba sijui vita za huyu mama. Lakini ziwe kali, ziwe ndogo, ziwe kubwa. Ziwe za ndoa, ziwe za masomo, ziwe za fedha. Whatever type of battle. Whatever battle. Una declare war in Jesus name. Unageukia huyo mwingine naye unaomba the same. Whatever it is. That from this place we're going to hear testimonies of the victory that God will bring our way for the battles that we will have won for us. Our heavenly Father. The Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray that this evening, this afternoon, because we know there are battles in every family, our prayer is to help us to identify those battle areas, to identify when they come, and then to stand firm on what we believe about the promises of God, and then resist the devil, and then cut off the devil from interfering with our families in the name of Jesus and Father oh God that there is no battle that we cannot win because we are with Jesus and he has won all battles and this one well, he will win it for us too in the mighty name of Jesus 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 give us victory over the devil give us victory in our families for this is our prayer in Jesus name Amen I was told to bless you I was told to bless you I was told to bless you and I will bless you I want a scripture that I got not very long ago 
And I had a group that came to my to boardroom and I gave you that scripture. Because that is the prayer that I'm praying for you. Psalms 36 verse 5 and 6 in message translation. I want to tell you what to a mungu mutakula Christmas vipoa. Kwa sababu mungu ni mku na ni muema. Weka hiyo na translation hiyo. Na tuisome, tukimaliza, ushangilie mungu kwa sababu wewe umependwa. Mwambie jirani yako, wewe umependwa. Wewe umependwa. I say, wewe. Kwanza jihagi, jihagi, jipe, jipe hagi. You know sometimes sometimes when you are hugged by somebody they when I take kukupa ya unafiki so you can hug yourself me I'm loved just hug yourself I want you to hear what God's love is for you When I read this I thought it is not in the Bible So I have read it many times including today Even Shilo I read it Oh I remember even Shilo I read it Oh Mungu amenipenda Upendo wake ni wa ajabu. Hebu weka hiyo kitu. God's love is I want you to say after I say something you finish. All right? God's love is His loyalty towards you is Let's do that one more time. I think you are not understanding. I'm praying for you that you believe the scripture and your life will never be the same again. God's love towards you is His loyalty towards you is his purpose towards you is his verdicts towards you is yet in his largeness nothing gets lost not a man not a mouse slips through the cracks whoa wait a minute 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 the love of god towards you give your neighbor a high five i want us to do the last part i love that mimi nimependwa kwamba hata siwezi hepea kwa cracks. Nie dile dile dhuya. Dile dhuya. Siwezi kuwa siko kama yule mdudu. Because kwa washirika wangu hebu kwanza wasomewe kwa Kiswahili. Daktari, unajua nina washirika wangu hapa. Na hiyo kizungu mingi materiali kina vitu hizo zote. Tafuta ya Kiswahili usome hiyo tu utawasomea. Ama utafsiri. Hebu eh, rudisha tujaribu mwalimu. Rudisha kutoka mstari wa 5. Eh hiyo. Ya ndio. Haya asante. Haya hiyo. Hiyo. Nina elimu. Ke unege yako. Na nina wale haya. Ke unege yako. Ni drama ngona hada mwika le. Amen. Madhomere. Soma kwa Kiswahili. Fadhili zako e Mwenyezi Mungu uh-huh. zaenea hata mbinguni. Uh-huh. Uaminifu wako wafika mawingu. Uh-huh. Twende 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 eh Uadilifu wako ni kama milima mikubwa Ehe. hukumu zako ni kama vilindi vya bahari Ehe. wewe e eh, Mwenyezi Mungu wa walinda wanadamu na wanyama Bas hiyo hiyo ukiisoma hivyo inakuacha hushiki point Lakini oh god kwani wasije wakatafsiri kwa Kiswahili na message iwe message ya Kiswahili uh, why didn't they just give us the message translation of the same because verse 6 the last part it inanijaz hiyo inanipa 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 muhemko mimi nimependwa na siwezi penyezwa kwa crack i am loved so much by god because although god is large and big he is great nothing gets lost not a man or a mouse can go through the crack. Now that is the blessing that I want to speak to you. The love of God towards you. The purpose of God towards you. The verdict of God towards you. You cannot get lost in his hand. May you prosper. May your Christmas be the best ever.